Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to soft reset your Samsung Galaxy A25 if the screen freezes. There's a very simple button combination you can perform that will trigger the phone to shut off and turn back on. And if you're having any issues with the screen glitching or the software not working properly, usually this is the first thing you want to do to try to resolve those issues. So what you're going to do is hold down on the power and the volume down button until the screen goes dark. Now, usually it will trigger in about 10 seconds. Let me show you right now what it looks like. Power, volume down, one, two, three, hold. Now you should see a pop-up like this on the screen. Continue to hold the buttons until the entire screen goes blank. There you go. As soon as it goes blank, simply let go of the buttons and the phone should restart anywhere between one second and 30 seconds I've seen. And so again, this is mimicking the process of like taking the battery out of the phone and then putting it back in. So it's gonna shut the software down, it's gonna restart. And if your phone has a, a glitch that maybe is causing it to malfunction, this usually is a great way to help in um, kind of getting the software just to reboot and, and look for those bugs to get them out. Now. If your screen is cracked and that's why your touch screen is malfunctioning, this is not going to help. So just a heads up for that. If your screen is cracked and your phone is really buggy, you'll want to take your phone to your local uh, service and repair center or uh, just a local cell phone repair shop and have them take a look at it and give you a quote on what it would cost to replace the screen. So. That's if you have hardware issues. If your screen is in great condition, then more than likely this will fix the problem, all right? Now, as you can see right now, it's rebooting the software and this is gonna happen really quickly. So within one minute, the phone should kick right back on and you should be able to test it out and your touch screen should be working fine, all right? We're coming right to the end right here. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below as well. And, here we are, our screen is back on, and we should be able to just swipe, and our screen is back on, and our touch screen is working just like normal. So that is the process to, a, to do a soft reset. And if you got value of this, again, bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.